This is Tar Heel Talk, an in-depth look at the issues and people making news in North Carolina. Here's your host, Sonia Williams. Trying to figure out how you can generate some extra income by doing things you love? Well, today's guest has done just that and is now helping others start their own businesses. She is Jessica Watt, DIY and lifestyle blogger and owner of A Sweet Life. Jessica, welcome to Tar Heel Talk. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. Now you are a mom and a wife. Tell us how you got started with your crafting and DIY projects. Well, I think I've loved crafting since I was a little girl. My mom was a crafter and um, I always remember as a child wanting to make things and create things, but it probably wasn't until I had my own children, Mm -hmm. especially with birthdays that I wanted to just make these elaborate celebrations. But I didn't necessarily have all of the means to do it like Mm -hmm. I wanted to. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I really started thinking, how can I make these memories um, on a budget? And um, that's exactly what I did. And so from there, or later, A Sweet Life was born. Tell us about your business. Well, for years, I dreamed of having a blog. I talked about it all the time, but it was just one of those things that I was scared to kind of jump ahead and do. Because I knew it was a place where I could keep all of these things that I've done over the years, kind of like a scrapbook of memories that I've made with my family. And um, so the more time went on, I just kept, was kind of in the back of my head, like, I just need to do this. And so mm-hmm. I just really got pushed by family and friends. You know, you really just need to put this out there. And that's just kind of where it started to begin. I started just to save all these projects and events and parties I've done with my family mm-hmm. and kind of put them all in one place and thought, hey, I could really help another mama out there mm-hmm. make that birthday party that she really wants for her baby mm-hmm. or whatever, you know, celebration it is. Mm-hmm. So that's just how how I got started. So what types of services do you provide through A Sweet Life? So A Sweet Life, we run primarily on Facebook. We do weekly live videos where we do tutorials and they are really fun. We have women from all over the country that come and join us and we have made all different kinds of things, usually going along with the season. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's because women will say, I really want to learn how to make this. And so I'll say, okay, we're going to do that. So We craft together via Facebook. I love that. It's very fun. And I just get to share tips and things that I find on the internet Mm -hmm. and um, put it out there for them. I think sometimes moms and women love to go on Pinterest and they can get lost, but it's very overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So I kind of take some of those ideas. I look and research and say, what what really are women wanting to, to learn how to do? And help them learn how to do it without spending hours going through Pinterest trying to find directions Uh and things like that. So it makes women feel like, you know, hey, I can do this. And um, and we create it together and it's a lot of fun. And so you're there walking with them step by step. Yes. Creating that. Now, are there any up and coming crafting trends that um, we need to be on the lookout for? Farmhouse decor is everything right now. Everything farmhouse. And um, I really believe that's inspired a lot by the show Fixer Upper. Mm -hmm. Um, Women are loving just anything that has that kind of rustic, shabby chic farmhouse look. And so I find myself often getting um, requests for women to paint signs for them that kind of follow that that farmhouse trend. Mm -hmm. That's definitely, definitely in. Well, you've brought along some projects that you've done. Let's take a look at some of those and and just kind of tell us a little bit about those. Absolutely. Um, Well, this board right here, I made, this is actually what I'm gonna be making and presenting at the Pinterest conference this mm-hmm. upcoming September uh-huh. in Dallas, which uh, women will be able to select classes that they wanna go to. And so this will be one of the classes and I will teach them how to make this and they will all leave with their very own sign that will look just like this, so. So how, tell us a little bit about how you, how you made that. Well, so first I tell women, don't ever be afraid of wood and cutting wood. Mm -hmm. You can go to your home improvement store and they will cut it for you. You don't have to have all of these special tools. So I think sometimes women look at them at a craft and say, oh, I can't do that. I don't have this drill or that saw. Mm -hmm. There are people that, resources out there that will help you. So you can go and they will cut this wood for you. Um, And then we painted it black with chalk paint because chalk paint is my very favorite paint. And chalk paint is very in 
A lot of people like to use it to paint furniture, mm -hmm. but it's great for crafting because it's very thick. And then we used a vinyl stencil and we stenciled that again with some white chalk paint. And then we just removed our stencil and it looked just like that. Oh, wow. Yep. Wow. So you make that all sound so easy, but <laughs> for those of us who aren't as crafty, mm -hmm. is that something that, um, that's fairly easy to it do? It is fairly easy, and um, we're hoping to have about 150 women come to our class in September, and wow. so no matter what their craft level is, they should all walk away with a sign that looks just like this. Oh, that sounds... That sounds exciting. It is um, exciting. I would love to try that. And you talked about chalk paint. I'd never heard of that. So oh, that's, yes. um, that's learning something new every yes. day. Yes. So you're going to be presenting and teaching this class at the Pinterest con con at the conference. Yes. And this is a national conference. It's it going to be is. held in Dallas. Tell it us is. a little bit about how that venture all came about. Well, I, I love Pinterest like a lot of people do and spend probably way too much time on there. But um, I saw something on social media about a Pinterest conference and I thought, well, that would be something I would definitely want to go to, but to pre present at would be an amazing honor. And so I contacted them. They also have one in Dallas, I'm sorry, in Atlanta coming mm -hmm. up. And um, they had said, Atlanta is full, but we would love to have you come to Dallas in September. And so I don't think I even thought about it. Mm -hmm. I just said, yes, I will be there. <laughs> So I'm really excited just to meet a bunch of amazing women and just mm -hmm. to craft together. And um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So how can people find out more information about A Sweet Life and the work that you're doing? Well, my website is www.jessicawatt.com. And then my Facebook page is A Sweet Life NC. Okay. And that should pull right up. And um, all our projects and live videos are all on there. Excellent. Yes. We're going to take a break. We'll talk more in just a minute. Up next, home decor doesn't have to be expensive. We'll look at DIY projects on a dime when Tar Heel Talk continues. My guest today is DIY and lifestyle blogger Jessica Watt. Jessica is also a small business owner who now helps others start their own businesses. Now, Jessica, before the break, you were talking about the upcoming Pinterest conference in Dallas that yes. you'll be teaching a class at. You also will do crafting classes locally as well for a variety of, of different occasions. Talk a little bit about the crafting classes that you do here. Absolutely. I started to teach door hanger classes about two and a half years ago. And um, I started with one and what that basically was, was I had, I made a Christmas ornament. Mm -hmm. I had someone cut it out of wood for me. And I had some of my friends over to paint them for our doors for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So you're actually talking about something that you can hang on your door. Yes, okay. they could, instead of a wreath, they could hang it right on their door. Uh -huh. And um, we had so much fun. And I won't forget because as one of my girlfriends was walking out, she said, you should totally do this as a business. And I was like, <laughs> I mean, I would love to, but is that really r realistic? Um, but I actually decided to jump on it and see if it would work. And um, it did, and it took off. Wow. So I've spent the last two and a half years going to women's homes and churches and schools um, with tons of paint supplies and wooden door hangers in every shape and size and helping women paint them for their homes. Okay. And so you've brought along some examples of some door hangers here that you have. So you can do different themes and... Mm -hmm. I have about over 50 designs wow. that um, women or children, we do birthday parties too, okay. can choose from. Um, so like we have this flower, for instance. Mm -hmm. So I, I help them that. paint it and we make a bow together and, um, and they leave with a finished door hanger that mm -hmm. they are really proud of, that they created themselves. Right. And so, and this is a party, so everyone can make theirs a little bit different, yes. but you know, kind of have a good time and, and like you said, leave with a product that they can share either as a gift or use on their own door. That's true. Um, I don't template them, they're not stenciled out, so it really lets their inner creativity show. Mm -hmm. And what's so fun is that I've seen women not know that their girlfriends had incredible talents, and then all uh -huh. of a sudden they watch them paint these beautiful door hangers and say, oh my goodness, I didn't know that you could do that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it really builds community, 
and um, creativity, and it's just a lot of fun. Right, and so give some examples of the occasions that you've done this, because I know you said you have an upcoming bridal shower um, that you're preparing for. What are some of the other um, occasions that you've done this? We do a lot of birthday parties, a lot of birthday parties mm -hmm. for children and women, um, adults. Okay. We do um, fundraisers, we've done fundraisers for schools, like mm -hmm. PTA, um, Relay for Life, um, families that are just having a lot of financial issues due to a sickness. Mm -hmm. So we've done a lot of those. Um, women's Bible studies, women's groups, those are kind of our big ones right. that we... Kind of a, a new spin on the whole wine and design concept of getting together and, and painting and, and leaving with a piece of art or a work of art that yes. you can you can use. That's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a lot of fun. Okay. Yes. And so how can people reach you to schedule a party or an event? They can reach me through my blog at jessicawatt.com and they can also reach me through Facebook mm -hmm. at um, A Sweet Life NC or they can also reach me through Facebook through Southern Whimsy NC. Okay. And that is kind of where all the door hangers hang out right uh -huh. now. <laughs> and you mentioned, yeah, the door hangers are becoming incredibly popular. They are. They are incredibly popular. If you go on Etsy, which uh -huh. is a popular um, website of handcrafted goods there, and you type in door hanger, there are thousands and thousands of them. Oh, wow. So, but this is fun because women get to do it themselves. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that you have, um, you have children I and do. you do plan crafts and things for them and I know when you talk about you know tips to having a sweet life you know the first one that you mentioned is you know decorating does not have to be no. expensive. No. It doesn't. I have four children and I homeschool them and so we are home most of the day <laughs> and uh, I want to have a beautifully decorated home, but mm -hmm. sometimes it's just not really realistic having four kids and being home and, and being on a budget. So I always tell women first to go shopping in your own house. Walk around and mm -hmm. see what you have. Maybe something has been on a shelf in the same place for years. Right. How can you repurpose it? How can you reuse it? And do that first, and you'll be amazed at how you can transform a room that mm -hmm. way. And then go, to, well, I, my, I always tell everybody to go to Hobby Lobby because that's my favorite store. Okay. <laughs> and a lot of times you can purchase things at 40% off. Mm -hmm. uh, but really start off in your own home. Start mm -hmm. off at yard sales. Start off at, at Goodwill or those sorts of um, mm -hmm. thrift stores. You'll be amazed at the things you can find and the things that you can transform with just a can of spray paint. Right. So like, what are some of the things that you've maybe transformed? I'm thinking I have a ton of things in my garage. I could probably um, repurpose yes. them. What are some of the things that you've been able to, to transform? Well, this spring, I took an old pair of rain boots and I spray painted them hot pink and I tied really cute ribbon around them and I stuck flowers on them and they are sitting oh. on my front porch. And so I already had really all of that stuff kind of laying around my house uh -huh. and I was able just to put it together and it was just the perfect spring touch to my front porch. Okay, excellent. Yeah. And so you're shopping at Hobby Lobby, using those coupons, coupons. and 40% off. Yes. I can imagine some of the, the, the dollar stores are popular for yes. things as well. Yes. <laughs> the dollar store is probably one of my favorite places mm -hmm. and I purchase a lot of things at the Dollar Tree and I'm also known for going on Facebook Live in the Dollar Tree because I get excited <laughs> and I want to share it with our viewers so that they can go out and get that as well. Mm -hmm. So definitely the Dollar Tree. Okay, so we've <laughs> got to make sure that we follow you on Facebook yes. then so that we can catch those deals when you find them yes. um, and, and then follow up and learn how to put a craft together through your Facebook classes. Yes. I've also just started, just launched, it'll be launching in May, the Crafty Crate, mm -hmm. which is a monthly subscription where okay. you will receive a box every month in the mail with a craft and we'll be invited into a private group and together we will make that craft oh. from what's in the box uh -huh. and so that's sort of, sort of like a stitch fix like that monthly subscription where you get clothes except it's craft based mm -hmm. so that will just be launching just in may our first box or our first crate will go out okay. and Exciting. women will get a new craft every month that we'll do together mm -hmm. Oh, that, that will be fun. It'll be really It'll be fun. a lot of fun. Yes. Now, you've brought along another. I love this um, picture yes. that you made. Tell <clears> us about that. Uh, this, actually, I made the same way that I made the sign. Mm -hmm. I just added a frame to it. And I also offer these classes along with our paint parties. Okay. Women will just choose to do a sign versus a door hanger. Mm -hmm. 
and these like just like this it's so easy and I do bring my power tools for this one and so we can um, we can frame it but women feel pretty or get pretty excited when they get to use those power tools mm -hmm. and um, walk away with something really sweet that they can put in their home oh, neat. yes neat. Now, with your kids, yes. you do some crafts with them and you make some things that can help create some of those memories you were talking about and just have a little bit of family fun. Yes. Uh, I think in this day of electronics, it's easy for our kids to have a tablet in front of them. Yes. And um, I'm guilty, probably just like every other mom, of letting that maybe happen too often. So um, I do like to create things for them to go outside, especially my younger ones. Mm -hmm. So one thing that I made is a kind of life-size tic-tac-toe. Oh. And I bought these letters at a craft store, and I just painted them so they were mm -hmm. kind of fun. And I tied them up with some string, which you could also use ribbon to make the lines. Uh -huh. And then we can stand outside together and play oh, tic-tac-toe. So you, you put your, your squares, your lines out, and then they can use the, the letters yes. of tic-tac-toe. Yes. And they think that's a lot of fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> and they're moving. They're getting they're some moving. activity. Yes. Excellent. They are moving. Excellent. That's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, I have a four-year-old who is into everything and loves to be outside in the dirt. I'm going to move that. <laughs> okay. And you can show us how you... How you lay that so out. I just had scraps of wood in my garage and I just kind of cut them in all different size pieces and I just painted them black and they actually my little ones helped me paint so uh -huh. we did this together and I just did some yellow lines and my sweet boy brought them outside and he put them everywhere and we just made roads and like ramps mm -hmm. and he was able to drive all of his cars out there Neat. and it was a lot of fun uh -huh. so these stay outside so he can take them wherever he wants That's and so. kind of prop them up against things and, and see how that works. Mm -hmm. What an excellent and creative way to um, to make a, a racetrack. A racetrack. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, it was all stuff I had already. Okay, we're going to take another break. We'll talk more in just a minute. We'll be back with more Tar Heel Talk after these messages. Welcome back to Tar Heel Talk. I'm Sonia Williams. We're talking today with DIY and lifestyle blogger Jessica Watt. Jessica is also a small business owner who now helps others start their own businesses. Now, Jessica, you have shared a number of your crafts that you do and the crafting classes, information about the crafting classes that you have available for various groups. But you also have a passion for helping other women start their own businesses. Tell us about that. I do. Um, I love being an entrepreneur. I think there are just so many benefits about it. Um, but what I've really found is in the crafting world, in probably all aspects, there's a lot of competition. And I feel like it, life would just be so much better if we had community over this competition. Mm -hmm. And I've had so many women that would say, I want to do what you do. It's so fun. Like, is this your real job? And I'm like, it is my real job. And it's amazing. And so uh, instead of keeping all of those secrets to myself of what I've learned over the years and what I've kind of um, worked through, I thought there's no better way than to create community of women who love crafting and say, teach them how to do this themselves. And so I've just started a three month program to help women start their own door hanger business since door okay. hangers have been successful for me. Mm -hmm. And it's just launching probably within the next week. Mm -hmm. And um, during those three months, we are gonna have a community of women through Facebook. And I'm going to teach them each week a new topic. So by the end of those three months, they'll feel equipped to go out and start having their own paint parties. Wow. Mm -hmm. So when you look at all the things that you've learned, what are some of the, the tips that you like to share with other women? Just on number one, just getting started. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the, the very first thing is to name your business. What's your business mm -hmm. going to be? And then to brand yourself. And I like to think that I brand myself versus a door hanger. Uh -huh. you, want to, you want to be fun. You want women to want to come and have fun with you and paint with you. And so why are you doing this? What's your why? Mm -hmm. And um, really just to put your all into it. And once you get that name and that why, I'm able to really share how to reach out to women how to schedule these parties. Mm -hmm. Social media is a huge part of that and it's intimidating, I think, to some women. So I've kind of figured out a lot of those kinks. I'm still really learning a lot, but um, mm -hmm. being able to share that with them 
resources, where do you get materials, how do you get wood cut, right. those sorts of things, so that they feel confident mm -hmm. to start their own. Now, when you look at um, some of the things that you've learned and talk about the challenges, what are some of the challenges that, that you feel like you've been able to work through that you can share with other women? Well, it can be very overwhelming to be in someone else's home painting and you might have women that have never painted before mm -hmm. and you're trying to help everybody with a smile on your face. <laughs> and sometimes that can become really stressful uh, or right. parties might last a really long time. I've had mm -hmm. to work really hard to kind of shorten my time a little bit. So um, definitely being able to help everybody and so that everybody leaves happy with their product. Mm -hmm. That's probably the biggest challenge. Right, right. <laughs> so my, I really don't want anyone to leave not loving what they've made. Mm -hmm. Now, when you teach your class in your Pinterest class yes. in Dallas, you are going to be do you're going to be making this piece with, with your audience. What are some other simple um, pieces that you can help make, like you mentioned, with a class? Mm -hmm. We are also going to be making um, door, painted doormats, like for your front oh, porch. A painted doormat. A painted doormat. Okay. And we are also gonna be making um, painted personalized pillow, like throw pillows. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are kind of on our, our list for our upcoming um, products that we're gonna be helping women paint as well. So what I'm, what I'm seeing um, through looking through um, Pinterest and other, other sites is that you can put paint on just about anything. You can. <laughs> I have a friend that just painted her Bible. Oh <laughs> so my. that you can, you can. I think it's so important to think outside of the box. Mm -hmm. And so I really try to look at everything and think, what can I do with that? How, how can I make that even better or prettier or more useful or whatever it is and so always kind of thinking that way and you'll be surprised at the things that that'll pop into your mind. Mm -hmm. I think we're all have it, some sort of creativity inside of us. I, I hear a lot of women say I'm just not crafty. Mm -hmm. I think that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> everybody has a little bit uh -huh. and um, I think once that gets fostered then excitement happens and the women say I can do this and I can make beautiful things mm -hmm. for my home. And there's a reward that comes with that. Right. So you focus primarily on home decor and, and things like that. Yes. But the pillows and the, mm -hmm. the paintings and the door hangers. Yes. How can people find out more information and get in touch with you for one of these popular paint, painting parties? Uh, Facebook is always the best place to go. So um, Facebook, A Sweet Life NC or Southern Whimsy NC mm -hmm. are the best places to reach me. And then also on my blog website, JessicaWatt.com. Okay. As you look back over the last two years and just how your business is, has blossomed, mm -hmm. what advice would you share with other women who may be interested in, in starting their own business? I think first is um, <clears throat> definitely start. Go ahead and start. You know, I, someone was asking me that the other day and I said, it's kind of like when you're talking about having your first baby and you say, I have to wait for the right time. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's ever really a right time. So I think it's important to go ahead and to name it and to go. But then I also think it's important to really sit down and write out what your priorities are. Family, work, friends, and really figure out how you can juggle all of those things. Mm -hmm. What percentage of time do you need to spend on your work so that you get the results that you want, but you're not neglecting your husband and your children. So really um, looking at all of your priorities and say, how can I fit this in so that I can do my other jobs well. Right. Excellent advice, Jessica Watt. D Y I, D I D Y I, D I Y. <laughs> yes. You know, I always get that mixed up. Light and lifestyle blogger, we certainly thank you for for sharing this information and all your wonderful projects with us. And thank you for being our guest today. Thank you so much. Okay. That's it for this week's Tar Heel Talk. To comment on this or other episodes of the show, like us on Facebook or follow us on Instagram, or you can send an email to tarheeltalk at fox50.com. I'm Sonya Williams. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again next week.